Hello everyone, we are doing another House of the Dragon video and today we are going to go over House Hightower, one of the main houses that will be featured in the Game of Thrones prequel. We will go over the history and lore of the house up to when House of the Dragon starts, so there won't be any spoilers for the show. But before that, remember to like the video, helps out the channel a lot, and subscribe, and yada yada yada, let's get to it. House Hightower is one of the oldest houses in Westeros. They were founded during the Dawn Age by author of the High Tower. The Dawn Age is the time when the first men first colonized Westeros from Essos, crossing the land bridge between the two that would eventually be destroyed by the Children of the Forest using powerful magic. It is said that Arthur had Bran the Builder who founded the Stark House and who is credited with building the wall build the High Tower in Old Town, which is where the High Towers got their name. Old Town is the second largest city in Westeros and is the wealthiest. It is a port city so trading is very important. Old Town is the home to the Citadel, which trains the Maesters. The High Towers are credited with finding the Citadel, or at least having a major role in its formation. Old Town is also the home of the Starry Sept, which was the seat of the High Septon of the Faith of the Seven. The High Towers are also credited with building this. So the High Towers are quite religious, they believe in the Seven versus the Old Gods. During the early days of Old Town, it was sacked many times by the Ironborn. They also had threats from the Gardeners, the original House of Highgarden, and the Dornishmen. To protect the city, the High Towers constructed a great wall to fend off would-be attackers. They did, however, create an alliance with the Gardeners through marriage. With Highgarden now protecting them, they could focus on trade and making money. House Hightower is one of the richest houses in the Seven Kingdoms. When Aegon conquered the Seven Kingdoms, many believed he would make his seat at Old Town since it was the biggest and richest city at the time. But he decided to make his seat at the ever-growing King's Landing, probably since it was closer to Dragonstone, the Targaryen ancestral home. House Hightower's sigil is a white tower crowned with flames on smoke gray. And the words of the house are, We light the way. The High Towers play a major role in House of the Dragons. Some blame them for the reason the Dance of the Dragons happens. Hobart High Tower is the head of the house, being the oldest brother. His younger brother is Otto High Tower, the Hand of the King for Jaehaerys Targaryen, and then Viserys after he succeeded him. It is unknown who Otto's wife is, but they had a daughter named Alison High Tower. They also had a number of sons, but the only one named is the youngest, Gwen. King Viserys would lose his wife Emma Arryn during childbirth in which the child died as well. It is said that Otto Hightower convinced the king to marry his daughter Alicent afterwards. Many in court thought he was overstepping his position, but Viserys would end up marrying Alicent and having four children with her. Aegon, Helena, Aemond, and Darren. The king did have a daughter from his first marriage as well, Rhaenyra, being about the same age as Alicent. And that's about the extent of the High Tower family tree in House of the Dragon. I won't go into much more detail because you'd start getting into that spoilery range. So are you excited about seeing House High Tower on screen? Leave it down in the comments below. And if you want more House of the Dragon content, please subscribe and like the video. Check out the Twitter link in the description below. And as always, have an awesome day.